what's up everybody? It's your boy here, MC and AC. Welcome back to Swahili Nation. Swahili to the world. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe button, mm -hmm. turn on notifications, and yes. follow us on Instagram. Come on. Swahili to the world. Yes. Mika Chavala, mm -hmm. Sally Lynn 97. Yes, and that mm. is that is Instagram, guys. You can follow us there. But most importantly, guys, we are doing challenge called Represent Challenge. So if you don't know anything about this, there's a video in the comment section. One is official music video for represent and another one, we explain what is represent challenge. What yeah. you gotta do is listen to our song, dance one of our moves or shoot yourself, or film yourself singing or dancing and then send the video through our Instagram. DM us there and guys, we're gonna, we're gonna compile them together and make into one official music video oh. with you guys. Oh, and one more thing. It just seems like a lot of you are checking us out by you know us topping out on the recommended videos mm -hmm. don't be shy you can't just go and be one of us exactly I know you're addicted to us it's fine <laughs> that's healthy addiction <laughs> <laughs> all right Asali Asali let me know what are we talking about today today we're gonna talk about white lie white lie do you know what that is exactly I it's know. what people it? do out of good conscience uh. I was just but they're fooling themselves. Exactly, why lie? All right, here we come. I mean, a lot of people they think. Uh, oh no, I want to say this: that lie is a lie, guys. It doesn't matter whether it's small lie or big lie. It lie is a lie. And most of time, we deceive ourselves because we say, because I want to protect you, therefore I'm not gonna tell you the truth. But that's not true because you cannot protect somebody by lying. You can actually protect somebody by speaking the truth. Because most of the time we want to hide the truth, you know, and we don't want to speak truth because we kind of think like, okay, if this person knows the truth, it's going to hurt this person. It's true. When we are speaking out our truth, truth hurts. Truth pains, all right? If I tell her the truth that, hey, Sally, you're making a lot of noise, you know, it's going to hurt her. Because it's something that she is doing and I'm pointing her and most of the time out of defense she might say that you are judging me. Why are you pointing fingers? You are at judging me. me. Why are you pointing fingers? Or sometimes they say you complain too much. <laughs> I why always they, say that. Why are they saying that? Because they wanna make you feel bad. So but most of the time, I just want to feel like, okay, I, I, I want to protect her, therefore I'm not going to tell her the truth. Oh, he's gonna but actually, you. I'm not protecting her, oh. <laughs> but I'm holding the truth against herself. She has to be the one to decide uh, to be protected or whether not to be protected. Of course, truth pains, truth hurts, and when I tell her the truth, it's going to hurt her for a certain period of time, but eventually that truth will heal her over the time because she at least now she, she at least for now she knows the truth so don't hide the truth from somebody out of worries that are uh, i want to protect her if she knows the truth let's say for example you cheated all right no then, we, we're getting deep i'm coming up to y'all let's say you cheated and you know that if i'm gonna tell my girlfriend if i'm gonna tell my wife that i cheated this is the big thing Thou shalt speak big now lie. Exactly, and maybe it's gonna, it's gonna, it, your marriage is gonna be broken, or your relationship is gonna be broken forever. And because you wanna protect her, you say that I'm not gonna say the truth. But you know, the matter, the fact is, you're not protecting her. But the thing is, you're being, you're being selfish. Ah, oh, please. You continue. are being selfish. You gotta come clean and to make her decide whether you deserve her or you don't deserve her. Because if you love her that much, then you're not gonna hide the truth it's worth from it. her. So yeah, yeah, it's worth it to speak out the truth. And again, the consequences, you're gonna need to live with the consequences. You don't have to hide it. You're gonna live with the consequences. She's gonna decide. She's gonna make the decision. And whatever that is gonna come after that is what you deserve from what you have done. Because truly mature people, mm -hmm. they take responsibility exactly. of the consequences. Exactly. So guys, don't get me wrong. I'm not just talking to you, I'm talking to myself. That lies never protect people but they actually cover the multitude of sins, the multitude of mistakes. And you know what, eventually, they will find out the truth. And the moment they will find out the truth by themselves, it's gonna hurt even more than when you just decide to come clean and share your thoughts and share your truth, your honesty. So go out there today and be honest because instead of start hiding honesty and beginning to lie, 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 and cover your mistakes, 
Guys. Just go out there and share the truth and because secrets. that is what it will protect the other person. I want to tell them this one thing and secrets create barriers between people. Okay, we're going to talk about secrets Think another time. That. Wide lie, <laughs> wide lie, it's, it's, it, there's no <laughs> something as a, su such as a wide lie. Lie, it's a lie. You know, lie, it's a lie. Whether it's small or big, it's a lie. And we all lie at some point. And because that's of why, secrets. And that's why today we are coming back with this reminder that you don't have to lie. You better move on. You better start something new if you know that I'm going to have to write, to lie because of this and this and that. Something you better do that. And that will be, you know, it will be good for you and for your life. Anyways, I appreciate guys. Uh, that's the message for today. But um, we're going to jump away. I mean, we're going to jump right away to do reaction. But uh, Sally, anything you want to learn in Swahili? Yeah. Stop wasting time. No. Stop, was Stop wasting my time. Stop wasting my time. Usini poteze mda wangu. Oh, wow, that's kind of long. Usini poteze mda wangu. Mda wangu. Mda wangu. Yeah, usini poteze mda wangu. Mda wangu. Usini poteze e. Is it the e? Usini poteze mda wangu. Usini poteze mda wangu. Exactly. That means I don't waste my time. Mda. Usini mm -hmm. poteze like don't waste. Uh -huh. Mda is time, wangu is my. So usini uh poteze -huh. mda wangu. Or you can just say usini poteze mda. Don't waste time. Usini poteze mda. Yeah, but if you say usini poteze mda, they will understand your meaning. Usini poteze mda wangu is the same. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Alright, Asali. So today we're gonna go to do reaction of one of the songs that came out three hours ago by Hamisa Mobeto. Well, Three it's it's our first time to react on Hamisa Mobeto and I'll explain to you. Hamisa Mobeto, she used to be uh, the girlfriend of Diamond Platinums and they actually have one baby together. Uh, that she's baby, the first girlfriend? He's really cute. No, 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 no. I think, uh, no, no, she was the second. Mm -hmm. And that baby called Dylan. So it's, man, it's, it's a beautiful baby. It's an amazing baby. Anyway, so we're gonna go to do reaction for her song for the first time, Hamisa Mobeto. This song came three hours ago, uh, featuring singer, and this guy is from Nigeria. The name of the song called Ginger Me. Yeah? Yeah, so Ginger Me, you know Ginger, right? Yeah. Ginger, so it's just a, like a love terminology. Ginger, you know the taste of ginger when you eat ginger. Yeah. I was actually listening to the interview. She was doing interview with Wasafi, and she was saying that ginger, when you eat ginger, you get that feeling, right? It's kind of like sour and it's good. So it's the same thing like in love. It's kind of like ginger meat. That very ginger meat. is actually so very good. deep. Yeah, yes. All right, let's go ahead. Hamisa Mobeto. Okay. Mobeto. Hey. I, I love that instrument. By the way, she's it's stylish. So she's she's one of the popular uh, model in Tanzania, and Aww, she has her own brand. She a model. Yeah, she's really big. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Hamisa. <laughs> Do you understand that? Is that no. okay? Nishika, when Zaka and Apato sing is like when you touch me, I just fall asleep in, in a lovely way because <laughs> it's so comforting. Exactly. I understand. Mm, okay. Mm. Wait, what did Kidogo mean? I think I learned Kidogo that. Kidogo is a little bit. Uh -huh. A little okay, bit. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I love the fashion. I love the colors. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I don't like this scene. I don't like this scene. <laughs> Also, oh. this guy is Nigerian. Yeah, he's Nigerian. I say I like it where you ginger me. Girl, I like it where you. Sherry, I like it where you. Oh! <laughs> what? Oh! What's They're gingering. <laughs> <laughs> They're gingering. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. 
man, I didn't know this guy. It's my first time to see this guy. Anything you want to point out? They're gingering from the bag, back and forth. Oh. Give me kiss on. Wanna feel it, they stop your lips on. I know go like it. You give me ginger. Me and you together, no this is the. Cause I want to touch on your body. Hey, okay. Ah. Ah, just realized. This is a toilet. Yeah, it's a toilet. <laughs> why? <laughs> but I mean, they, they made it. It's not a real toilet. I know, but why? I don't know, mate. I don't know. But I have no idea. <laughs> well, just say right now. Hey. What's boof boof boof? I have no idea. He's saying it's Swahili, right? No, no, no. That's uh. not Swahili. <laughs> Did you see that hair? Yeah. It says Misa. Hamisa. That's her, her name. Oh. It's written her name, yeah. Hey. Yeah, he looks very, very young, right? Yeah, like 21, 22. Yeah, yeah. If, than if, me. if you have anything to point, point out. Alright. Mm. Oh my gosh! Wow, she. I think. I think she's one of the type of people mm. who look better when she smiles. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh! Baby, <gasps> <gasps> wow, what's up? Her. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what kind of voice is that in the background? <laughs> Man, this is a good picture. I might use this for, for the thumbnail, right? Yeah. Mm. Uh, what is that? What is she oh. saying? It, it's I'm a different trying, vibe. I'm trying to figure out. Ah, you like my body? Like, do you like my body? Something like that? Ah. Hey, that dress, that night, night dress right there. Uh, Eliza. Okay, Eliza did mixing probably. Ah. All right, Sally. Yeah, pretty good. Ginger me by. Amisa Mobeto, first time ever reacting on Amisa Mobeto. What's up? First mm -hmm. things first. Mm. Expression of ginger, that was very new. Ginger for me is something that you eat mm. to refresh your palate mm. in your when you eat something. Like when you yeah. eat sushi, you have ginger mm. and then you dip it in the soy sauce with mm. the was oh my I want it right now, but anyways, um, yeah, that's some. That's I. I never made the connection of ginger mm. and the love, mm. but it makes sense. And now I see why the music video is like it has strong colors. Mm. That's because it's ginger. Because uh, ginger is spice, strong. spice things a little bit. Oh, what is that Ghanaian drink? Um, I don't remember, uh, but it has ginger. Yeah, it has like, ginger. It like when I first tried it. You know, it, back, it blew my mind. You know back home we have like soda, but it's very ginger soda. Okay. Mm. First, from it's Ghana. Really Why would you mix, uh, mix hibiscus and Tangawizi. ginger? Ginger and hibiscus. Uh, and then soda and ginger? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, it's, we, we call That's it... That's just new for me. We call it stone, stone Tangawizi. It's my mom's favorite drink. Stone Tangawizi. Ginger is Tangawizi in Swahili. Tangawizi. Yeah, Tangawizi. Anyways guys, thank you for stopping by. Let us know in the comment section what do you think about the song. I mean, we've done reactions so you guys you can let us know about the song. I didn't know about this guy. It's first time to see him. I mean, I know Amisa Mobeto. Uh, I've, 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 I've seen a couple of uh, her videos. Uh, so let us know in the comment section. I would love to know what you think about this collab and everything that happened in the, mm -hmm. in the video. What do you think about the word ginger related to love? Ginger? Yeah, I think I think it's a, that's, that's why these people are artists. Because that's, that's, you play with words, right? Yeah. So when you look at these words, you actually just understand the meaning. Even without explanation that you know, ginger me, then you know, what does it mean? 
Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by. Until next time, so Hilly Nation. So Hilly to the world. Check it us, check us out on Instagram, Mika Tavala, Salim and Swahili to the world. And don't and forget website. to send to us your videos, all right? As you dancing represent, and you can share on Instagram hashtag Swahili Nation, Swahili to the world hashtag represent challenge. Until next time, guys. Love and peace out. Asante, Asante. Yeah, out of here.